All right, folks, so we're going to start off graphing our standard form equation. As a quick reminder, our A value in this case is negative 2, our B value is positive 16, and our C value is negative 24. So the first thing we can talk about is we can start by finding what is the y-intercept of our equation. And this is the easiest part because when your function's in standard form, the y-intercept is simply the c value. It's 0, comma, c. So our c value in this case was negative 24. So our y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 24. All right, next we can find that most important point is called the vertex. But in order to find the vertex, we have to start out by finding what's called the axis of symmetry. And that's that invisible line that cuts straight down through our parabola. And our formula for the axis of symmetry is x equals the opposite of b divided by 2a. So in this example, if we plug in those values, we're going to be left with the opposite of b is negative 16 divided by 2 times negative 2, which in this case is negative 16 divided by negative 4 which is now positive 4. So that right there is our, our axis of symmetry. We always want to present it as the equation x equals, you always write x equals positive 4. So now to find the vertex, we actually have to take this number right here and plug it in to our equation up above. So I'm just going to rewrite negative 2 times something squared plus 16 times something minus 24. And the number we're plugging in to each of those parentheses is that x value that we just found. Okay, so this is the part where you could uh, figure it out manually or you could plug this into your calculator, whichever one uh, suits you better. But uh, once you do so, you should simplify out and be left with an answer of positive 8. So once we get positive 8 here, this actually allows us to identify our vertex. So our vertex, that most important point of a parabola in this particular case is the x value was 4, comma, the y value was 8. All right, so there's our vertex. So that's a really good start to actually determining what our parabola looks like. We can talk about domain and range. Remember that our domain and range is always going to be um, the same thing. Or, excuse me, our domain is always going to be the same thing. Our range is going to uh, change based on what our parabola looks like. So our domain in this case, our domain for every single parabola under the sun is all real numbers. We use this sign to, meet, to symbolize that. I can write it out this way as well. All real numbers numbers. That basically just means you can plug anything you want to into your uh, domain. Your range, that's going to depend on you, where your vertex is and which direction it's opening. So in this particular case, let's go back and remember that our a value is negative 2. And because our a value is negative 2, that means that our parabola is going to be opening down. Okay, It opens downward because it's negative 2. So because it opens downward, our range in this case is now going to be y is less than or equal to. Since we're opening downward, it has to be less. Less than or equal to whatever the uh, this number was right here, whatever that number was. So you take the y value of your vertex. So our domain in this, our range, excuse me, in this case is y is less than or equal to 8. And now last but not least, what you want to do from there is you could try to factor that equation. In this case, you could. So you could factor this equation, figure out what your x-intercepts are. Um, but to finish this out, let's actually graph this equation real quick. So if we were to graph our equation, the main thing that we want to put on our graph is that actual vertex. So our vertex in this case was at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
So our vertex was all the way up here at 4, 8. 4, 8. Here we are. And then we can start to fill in our table. So we create your XY chart. <clears throat> Once you've got your XY chart, put your vertex point 4, 8 in the middle. And then let's go 1 up and 1 down. So 1 up would be 5, 1 down would be 3. And this is where we simply have to plug in to the original equation. So when we plug into that original equation, we should end up with positive 6 here, positive 6 here. And this is a buy one, get one free point. When you plug in 3, you also get 5. Those are always going to give you the same number right here. So let's plug that in. If we graph those, it's going to be 3, 6 right here and 5, 6 right here. So now we have our parabola. So folks, uh, keep practicing this on your homework today, and best of luck.